Welcome back to CBS Saturday Morning. Extreme floods and droughts driven by climate change pose a real threat to the future of agriculture. One food company has even rolled out ads to talk about how it's helping fix the problem. But as national environmental correspondent David Schechter reports, experts say the messages may be misleading. Says a BLT on white. This year, Hellman's Mayonnaise started running ads claiming our most beloved sandwiches could be dead in 20 years, a point illustrated by giving customers empty wrappers. Um, what is this? You handed me empty tinfoil. The beloved BLT, dead by 2043? Could that even be true? Tell me about your sandwich today. It is a uh, bagel uh, with Philadelphia cream cheese. So I just made this BLT. It's going to be killing. Can we trade? Dr. Michael Mann is a climate researcher and professor at the University of Pennsylvania. We met for a virtual lunch and I showed him this ad. By 2043, there could be no ingredients available to make a sandwich unless we change the way that we farm. Yeah, it's, it's a cute ad. Uh, of course, it's, it's funny. Um, but uh, at the same time, it's sort of engaging in what we call greenwash. Greenwashing is a practice that makes a product appear more environmentally friendly than it really is. Basically, talking the talk, but not walking the walk. There's also this ad on the New York Times podcast, The Daily. Soil erosion is endangering soybeans, a key ingredient in the mayo we put in our sandwiches. Soybeans and mayo? Who knew? But research paid for by Hellman's found that soybeans will be scarce and not affordable by 2043 because of soil erosion. To prevent that, Hellman's is encouraging regenerative farming practices like cover cropping. Before the season when soybeans are planted, farmers plant a different crop like rye to hold the soil in place. But Mann says Hellman's message about its plans to address soil erosion missed the bigger picture of climate change. And so Hellman's is sort of seizing upon this sort of, um, this notion that if they sound like they're doing something about climate, it'll appeal to their customer base, when in fact what they're proposing to do doesn't really deal with the problem at all. Dr. Rick Cruz is a soil erosion expert at Iowa State University. He applauds Hellman's for spending $30 million over five years to help subsidize the cost of cover cropping, but he also questions the company's messaging. So they reached this conclusion that soybeans are gonna be gone. In, in 20 years. What do you think about that? And I'd say right now, the evidence isn't strong enough for me to say that soybeans will not be economically viable in 20 years. And actually, there's a modest increase in soybean productivity predicted over the next 10 years based on a report compiled for Congress. Hellman's is owned by a $140 billion global consumer products company called Unilever. Replenish the soil. How can we work with nature? Stephanie Milley Grant is Unilever's Associate Director of External Affairs and Sustainability. The company says it has ambitious goals, including cutting its greenhouse gas emissions and increasing climate smart farming practices. Also, Unilever recently joined a coalition of global companies pressuring governments around the world to do more to address climate change. Our purpose is to make sustainability commonplace, and that goes back to 2010 for the company and our journey we've been on, on being a leader on this. But Unilever is also under a civil investigation by the United Kingdom's Competitive and Markets Authority for violating its law about greenwashing. Regulators are investigating whether certain statements and language used by Unilever appear vague and broad and may mislead shoppers regarding the environmental impact of those products. I mean, we came out, we were interested in coming out to talk about regenerative agriculture with you. Sandwich idea, that was so interesting, cute, great campaign, let's come out and see it. And then when you look at the science, the way it was sold and what's actually happening, they're not the same thing. Agree? Disagree? I can't speak to the marketing campaign. Since our interview, Hellman's has updated its marketing campaign website, adding new details about the impact of more frequent climate events on food production. On the one hand, it's good that they're raising awareness about the threat of climate change. But look, we will have far worse problems to contend with than whether or not we can get mayonnaise on our sandwiches if we continue again, to go down this road of fossil fuel burning. You should be at my house right now. My, my lunch is much better than your lunch. I know. Well, next time, let's arrange it that way. For CBS Saturday Morning, David Schechter,
Dallas. Wow. <laughs> I mean, go from the sandwich to uh, whammer. It's interesting. The yeah, advertising it's... campaign being vague and misleading. How about, <laughs> how about that? Great point, Jeff. Um, but in this case, some good points made in that story.